Hey T fam, I'm about to show you a serve transformation that will help improve your accuracy as well as your kick serve. I'm Kirby Bridges and I'm a pro here at EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate players just like you. Our recent VIP student, Sibby, flew out to work with us in Milwaukee, Wisconsin from Dallas, Texas. He's a 4-5 player whose serve has a solid foundation, but he knows there's always room for improvement. Let's go right to the court so you can see step-by-step step just how we coach Sibby to improve his serve. And at the end of the video, I'll also let you know how you can get your own free serve action plan so that you can use our coaching to improve the very next time you're on court. What's the most important element that determines where the ball goes? You need to be able to feel where where is my hand facing. Uh -huh. Your hand is an extension of your racket face. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go through a, mm -hmm. a service motion, mm -hmm. and I want you to hit the green to the outside of the alley. Okay. Over there. Same motion you just did. Mm -hmm. Only difference is at contact, you're going to turn your hand to the left. Mm -hmm. right. Don't set up with your feet any different. Yeah. Uh, don't do anything different with your motion. I just want you to turn your hand. Good, nice job. And now on this one, uh, same stance, same position. Uh, I want you to hit the alley on the right, on the right side. So that, <laughs> that alley. No, nothing else changes, just, just the position of your hand. <laughs> good, good. Hard. Missed it by a couple inches. So without changing anything but your hand position, angle, we, we changed yeah. like 30 feet in your target. Yeah. And so when you aim out wide and you yeah. hit the, the tee, we're talking about like a couple of degrees off to the left with mm -hmm. your hand. Nothing, nothing else. It's no more complicated than that. Uh, so let's let's aim for that wide, that wide corner again. Not the green, right? The corner of the service box. Okay. Inside. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, out wide. Okay. Good. Nice job. And so we're talking between where you hit and in. We're probably talking about a quarter of a degree of yeah, it's very hard, yeah. angle of racket face. And so being able to do this on command is a matter of repetition, repetition. like picking out that spot repeat repeatedly mm -hmm. trying to hit it and making small tweaks from, from shot to shot. Uh, so now let's go down the tee. Good, good, good direction. Small tweak to the right, right. Turn a little bit more to the right. Good. Good. What Why did the ball go there? Too much this way now. Hmm? That's it. Polar connection. <laughs> it's, yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's good. And so uh, what you should do is come out and get a basket of balls. Mm -hmm. Just pick random, like totally random, not even in, mm -hmm. in the box necessarily. Mm -hmm. Pick random targets and just practice going from target to target to target, mm -hmm. making adjustments. It's something you can do by yourself. You don't even need a partner or, or, or anything. So really, it's, it's kind of insane um, mm -hmm. when, when you think about it because mm -hmm. From this position right mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. your strings are facing that way, out to the right. And so between here and contact, mm -hmm. it's, I, I don't know what, how much of a fraction of a second it is, mm -hmm. but it's a small fraction of a second. Between here mm -hmm. and here, mm -hmm. we're talking about controlling the angle of the racket face by like a couple of degrees. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. the timing of when you release this, yeah is really ultimately what tells the ball where to go. If you were to hit the ball right now, mm -hmm. you'd hit the edge of your frame. Edge, yeah. mm -hmm. And so between there and there, mm -hmm. you can hit oh, yeah. virtually anywhere on the court just by mm -hmm. unwinding your hand at a little bit different time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to face your strings in a different way. So when you miss your target by like a couple of feet, yeah. uh, like you're, <laughs> the timing of that is insane. Like the, yeah, the yeah. fact that you hit within a couple of feet with this kind of mm -hmm. uh, precision mm -hmm. is really pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. So don't be too hard on yourself yeah. when you can't hit your target like right away. Right. right. <laughs> like you, you have to, you should expect that mm -hmm. it's going to take some tweaking mm -hmm. and to really nail exactly where your strings are facing. Let me see a uh, second serve now. Second. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the deuce side. Um, and I'd like, you, I'd like you to hit like four or six uh, second serves.
So I get the I get the sense. Correct me if I'm wrong. I get the sense that when it really really matters, you yeah. you tend to be a little more careful. Yeah. So I'll try to do like. Oh, that's too much. Not even that. Like very soft. Yeah. I'm yeah. Let me see, let me see. Like that, something like that maybe. Okay. But I'm not even sure. But yeah, I've been very tentative. I can feel the muscles on those. Okay, uh, so we're going to work on something to fix that because it, it's super important for you. Um, grab a ball. Come on up to the baseline. Uh, I want you to put that ball in your, your left hand. Mm -hmm. Turn to the side like you're getting set up to serve. And with a continental grip, I want you to sandwich the ball between your palm and the strings. Have you seen this before? Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Have you tried it? I don't know, it never didn't help me, but we'll see. All right, well, yeah. We'll, I never we'll got get it. this kind of angle. I feel like it's weird. I can only do this. All right, we'll get there. I understood what this means. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll get there. So uh, roll up and down your hand a couple of times. And then uh, after a couple of rolls, I want you to go down to the bottom of your hand yeah. and roll straight upwards, vertically, up off the top of your hand without pushing it forwards. I want to see you go straight, straight upwards. Huh? Good, better. Yes, that's what I want to see, yeah. With a, with a nice high, kind of slow arc uh, to it. And try your best to only go upwards and not push the ball forwards. Good, good, better. Good, nice, nice, good. One more. Okay, and now um, as you uh, roll up, you're gonna come out to your right mm -hmm. and finish with your hand facing to the back curtain. So watch, uh, watch me. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna try this without the ball first. You're gonna go up and out to your right. So your arm is along the baseline mm -hmm. and your hand, if you were to open your palm, is facing towards the, the back curtain. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. One more of those. And rather what you're doing is you're um, going up and then around this way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Instead, uh, can you stand behind me? Mm -hmm. you're, you're going like this. Mm -hmm. Instead, what you should be doing is this. Oh, okay. So I'm tracing kind of a rainbow mm -hmm. up, up above myself, mm -hmm. uh, and you're going more laterally mm -hmm. around. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So slowly, let me see you trace a, yeah, better. Here, let me do one for you. So here. Mm -hmm. Up and turn. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Nope. No. Slow. 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 Slow down. And turn. Yes. 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 Uh huh. It's unnatural. <laughs> I don't know why. I prefer the word different. <laughs> it's different than what you're used to. Yeah. Uh, and so now what you're going to do is roll, roll up, and come out to your right. Nice. Good job. Yes. Good. Good. And now after you uh, roll and go out to the right, you're going to come across to the left side of your body. So it's going to look like, like this. Out to the right, and then across to your left. Yep. Uh, turn yourself to the side before this next one, the way you normally would for a serve. Good. OK, the reason why we're doing this is because racket head speed can either be directed through the ball towards our intended target, mm -hmm. and that's drive, mm -hmm. aka power, aka flat, flat. Mm -hmm. going towards our target. Yes. Or you can take that same racket head speed mm -hmm. and accelerate on a different line mm -hmm. than our target. So if my target is Brian, mm -hmm. and I accelerate that way, mm -hmm. with my strings facing Brian, that will create side spin. Mm -hmm. So my racket's moving past the ball with my strings facing that way. So the ball will spin 
sideways. Mm -hmm. And the ball will go that way too, because remember, the strings are the number one factor yeah. mm -hmm. that determines where the ball goes. Now, if my strings are facing towards the box and my racket accelerates that way, mm -hmm. what kind of spin will I make? Yep, yep. As the ball comes off the racket, it'll be rotating end over end. But I guess bottom line is when you do this thing, right? This, uh -huh. this jazz, you're just hitting it like this. How do you do no. this? The way, the, uh, the way that you just lined up, mm -hmm. um, Q stands uh, in that same position, the way that you just lined this up, mm -hmm. what direction is my racket uh, moving right no, now? It's just straight vertical, it's a flat shot. It's just a flat shot. It will shot. be a flat shot. Yeah. What we just practiced was this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Accelerating this way. Uh, this, okay, so it's not this one anymore, it's a little bit this way. Okay. We're now accelerating that way instead of that way. Hmm. I see, okay. In order to create spin. So the more you cut, you swing past the ball, uh -huh. the more spin you'll make. The more spin you make, the more safety you have. And currently you're having to slow down to be safe. Yeah. And that's terrible. We don't want that. You should actually be swinging faster. But then profession when they hit, right, it still comes straight. But if you do it like this, it should be like this. It should feel like this. How come that's not the case? Uh, back behind? Yeah. Because I mean, when you hit side, uh -huh. it should go like this, right? The answer the reason why, the reason why is because the body is rotating forwards while this motion happens. Oh. The, uh, my body is turning to the left, and so if I stayed sideways and did this, then that's, that's what would happen. But as you accelerate up and out to the right, your body is turning, and that should draw, draw the racket in front of you. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. So what you just practiced was a kick serve swing pass. Oh, okay. So up and to the right, and so the racket is moving along the baseline and coming back across the baseline oh, okay. instead of going through the baseline mm -hmm. and towards your target. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show you this lefty because I can't do it right I'm sorry. I'm not that special. And so um, if I wanted to hit a powerful serve as a lefty, I would accelerate Wait, yeah. Yeah, this way. Towards, towards my target, and so the ball will travel straight. But we were just practicing was accelerating this way and this way. And so now what I'm gonna do is toss right above myself, and I'm gonna accelerate my racket in that, in that direction. What happens is the ball goes up in the air and then arcs and curves uh, back. I'm gonna hit uh, just a couple more of these. And so we're looking for a really big uh, curve mm -hmm. in the ball. Uh, we're hitting it up into the air by going in this direction, mm -hmm. and that's also creating spin, which brings the ball back down. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now you try. Show me uh, uh, the direction of swing first, please. Yes, 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 yes. And when you try it for the first time, I'd like you to just, just start from here. And we'll take out the rest of the, the swing. Uh huh. <laughs> and so I want you to feel like mm -hmm. you're accelerating. You see that sprinkler head right there? Uh -huh. yeah. I want you to feel like you're accelerating your racket up towards that sprinkler head. Mm -hmm. And so the resulting shot should be one that travels like mine just did, way up in the air and then with a big curve. No problem, just cut it off center. I want you to cut the acceleration in like half. Good. Before the uh, next one, let me see you roll and go out along the baseline with your racket. Uh huh. Try again. And now it's just a matter of turning the racket. Mm -hmm. That's where the racket was facing. Mm -hmm. We just need to get the racket facing the target mm -hmm. while it's going up and out to the right. 
we go. Good, Sibby. Good curve. Nice job. Uh huh. Nice job. Now I want you to hit the ball more uh, vertically, more upwards. Yes, 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 yes. Did you notice the difference in sound mm -hmm. on that one? Describe to me what do you what do you think that sounded like? More like brushing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brushing, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's the word that gets used most uh, frequently. Uh, um, I like the word click, clicking as well. Mm -hmm. What that is is your strings moving against each other mm -hmm. because they're aggressively moving past the ball mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of going through the ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that brushing sound is exactly what we want to hear. That was your best one by far. Yes, yes, yes. The more brush, the more click we have, the more curve we have, and then the more safety we have. Yes, good. Good. Better sound on that. Good. Uh, yes, too straight. You can tell by the sound and also clearly from the, the direction of the of the ball. There wasn't much curve to it. And so if, if you want a co really confident second serve, we mm -hmm. need to work on this feeling, this concept of hitting past the ball instead of through the ball okay. uh, towards your target. The thinner mm -hmm. you cut past it, mm -hmm. the more spin you're going to make. And then the more spin you make, the more we can aim three feet over the net, mm -hmm. still swing at like 80%, 90% confidence, and have it easily fall into the box. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm even going like this now. <laughs> and we want, uh, for like a top spin serve, yeah. we want the ball to be just up above your eyes uh, as you look up towards the ball. Doesn't need to be back behind you. Uh, just right over your face, right over your head. Uh-huh, uh-huh, good. Felt good too, but that's power. It's nice. Oh, that's power used. Good, 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 good. Good brush, good curve to that. Now once you find the right direction, mm -hmm. you can feel confident in accelerating as fast as you want, and the ball will still keep curve going, it, yeah. just like on your forehand. Remember yes, yesterday, you made the comment, yeah. it feels like I can't miss it. Like yeah. no, matter, no, matter, no matter what, it drops back in. Right, yeah. We need to find that same feeling, that same direction of swing on your serve. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, right idea, Sibby. So if you see a whole lot of curve, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of shape to it, mm -hmm. but it goes a little bit deep, mm -hmm. what's the fix on, we talked about this just, just a few times on your forehand, mm -hmm. where you were making a lot of spin, the ball was yeah. curving, but it was, it was landing a little bit deep. Yeah. Uh, what adjustment did I ask you to make? For that one, it was like more tilt. So does it mean that, what is it? Angle of the racket face. Remember how I asked you yeah, to clo yeah. close your racket a little more? Yeah. Uh, on your forehands that were yeah. traveling a little deep. It's the same thing on the serve. If, you're, if you see the shape, mm -hmm. but the trajectory sends it too far, mm -hmm. then at contact, we need to close the, the racket face a little mm -hmm. bit more. If you swing up and the racket is Wait, open. Can you move forward? I think I'm doing too bad. Okay. Um, yeah, it could be toss position, or okay. it could just simply be the timing of how you're turning your, your racket up towards the ball. Okay, yeah, let me try. You can toss in front and still miss okay. deep. Uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. We, we need to get the racket face in the right direction. Yes, 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 yes. Good, nice job. Let's hit a couple on the ad side. Keep going uh, that same direction of swing. I want to see you try to curve it aggressively. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I like your second serve to be. Good, it's even safer. Different sound to that, a little bit more uh, brushing or clicking sound, and so we had a little bit more shape to it, which means it's more safe. And that's, that's what you should be shooting for is high safety and high confidence. You can have both at the same time, if you swing in the right direction. Good, Sibby. You get the idea? You feel the kick, yeah. Good, good. So I want you to experiment with this at home. Yeah. Just remember that the main thing here is direction of swing. 
as long as your racket accelerates through the ball, you, you cannot shape it the way that you were yeah. just shaping mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. The more you swing past the ball, mm -hmm. the more the, the ball will curve. And so yeah. the safer of a swing you'll have. Sibby's overall comfort level and technique on his serve have increased, but it's important to remember that this is just the beginning of his development on his serve. To help him cement these changes into new habits, he has to practice this at home. So we sent him home with a detailed action plan for him to follow for continued improvement. But now we're opening up our special serve action plan so you can have that same opportunity. Even though our coaches won't be standing there next to you, just like we were with Sibby, we can give you the very next best thing. It's our goal to support your tennis in any way possible. So we want you to have access to quality coaching and improvement at home. And that improvement starts with a plan. Get instant access to our Serve Action Plan PDF by clicking the link in the description down below or by going to serveactionplan.com. All you have to do is let us know where to send it and you'll know exactly what to do the very next time you practice so that you can get serve results just like Sibby. Finally, do me a favor and after you get your action plan, come back to this video and leave a comment to let me know how your results are coming along. If this was helpful to you, then please make sure to give this video a like and to keep up with all of our upcoming lessons, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.